Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne, where today we are breaking the laws of time and causality to fight Rajang. Turns out the episodes you've been watching are from literally weeks ago. So I have the luxury of being like, hey, Rajang just dropped. I want to fight him. I want the video to go up while he's still fresh and new. So yeah, we're, we're going to be fighting Rajang today. And I'm looking forward to it because, I mean, hey, he's always been a very unique fight. So let us go talk to the Admiral. Shattered Horn. Hey, kid, been waiting for you. We got things. You've heard the rumors oh. of Shattered Horn, right? Nope. Seems a few hunters exploring the Horfrost Reach caught a glimpse of something. Oh. Something like a Kirin with its horn broken off. Hmm. <laughs> I know, right? A real ear perker. So, I figured I'd go out to the Reach and take a look for myself. Hmm, I looked high and low, but no sign of any Kirin, much less a hornless one. But I did find tracks. Fresh tracks. Oh, perhaps Rajang tracks? It's strange, though. Having a Kirin show up all of a sudden out here. Maybe he's running from a monkey? Which means it came from somewhere else. So, we gotta go and find this shattered horn. I already filed a quest with your handler. Okay. Who knows where it came from? What's up with its horn? But it's our job to put the pieces together. Now get moving, and don't keep me waiting. All right. Okay, so... I guess we'll be, uh... Going after a Kirin first? Maybe. We're on the hunt. Well, let's see about this thing. Is it assigned? No. Is it optional? No. It's special assignments. That's right. That's a whole thing. All right. So I guess we fight a Kirin first. I'll see what I can do about finishing that up right quick. And we don't even get to choose where we start, huh? Hi, Poogie. I wanted the box. So let's get our Elder Dragon load out. And then this no plugs armor set. Except gonna ditch rock steady in favor of thunderproof. Then we're going to change some decorations around. So we want to get some maintenance. Oh, right. That's I've got a set specifically for Kieran. I should just use that. That saves time. It's not going to be quite as good damage wise, but it'll keep us from being too unhappy about things. And then this cat is going to get a sleep weapon. And the coral orchestra so that it can give me para res. And then we're going to have us a meal. Yeah, our thunder res isn't amazing, but we're stun immune, so it doesn't really matter. Also, as you can see, I'm master rank 188 now, so... Yeah, it's... I've played this game a little since the last episode you saw. Well, let us see about old Shattered Horn. <laughs> On time as usual. Let's go find old Shattered Horn. Okay, I found it. Am 
Might as well grab this. And also this. Don't got space for that. I, I can't. It's facing the wrong way. It probably had a run-in with a monkey. Just getting this thing's entire body wounded because I can. Not gonna clutch on while it's in that lightning. And fighting this thing in the hot spring is not the best decision. Oh, it, it's already mad? When did it enrage? Did it start off raging? Well, it is my hope that in addition to starting off with a broken horn, this thing also starts off almost dead, because... Ordinarily, you can't break a Kirin Horn until it's almost dead. And that would be very helpful for us if it was. Because I want to just finish up this pony and go fight the real meat of this update. Proof on. Come on, pony. All right. That's an option, I suppose. Kind of wanted you to come over here, not just your lightning. But clearly, you are uh, more than content to just hang out. I noticed that there is a Boa Boa waiting for us. But we'd have to pull this pony at least two areas. And I don't know that it would be willing to cooperate quite that much. Nice bonk. go. Come on down, pony. Oh man, the wound wore off. Well, hey, we can put it back on. Here, pony, you deserve this. leaving, are we? Ooh, and it's going closer to the Boa Boa. Wait, is it? Yeah. Good. Good, good. Oh, um, that's my skills. There you go. That's for my equipment. Got all that going on. Golden Crescent is augmented. And now we've got a pony to actually focus on here. This cat is really slouching on giving us the paralysis resist. Also, I should have used this forever ago. I like how the pony got erupted on. Go. We've got a boa boa. And let's use this cheer bongo in case we get para res. That's what we're fishing for here. Oh, uh, looks like my cat could have used some para res. All right, 
right. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's try this one more time. Oh, that's okay. That yeah, seems to be out of it. Good. There we go. We got the resistance we craved. Oh? Oh, right. I've got a sleep weapon on my cat. I completely forgot. Now, normally sleep gets things out of rage. I wonder if that'll do it for this pony. Oops. Needed to be a little closer. This ought to do it. Yeah. Also, we got some pods out of this pony, but no, he's raging away. Ooh, two sets of pods. All right. Well, what? it's a bit of waste of uh, the temporal mantle, but we should pull him over here. Get this pony boa boa'd. Because that'll let us do some nice damage to it. Over here, pony. All right, good job, Boba. Boba harpoons are very helpful. Come on, pony. Just let me on. No, that's not wounded. But it is dead, so, I mean, close enough, right? Good work, Fiverr. Head back to Celiana so we can continue with the investigation. You got it. This is not the largest Kieran I've ever fought. Don't know if it's gold small, though. Don't think it would be, but... Doesn't even matter. I've already gotten a gold small Kieran. I've gotten all the gold crowns that were available in base world. Including the ones I didn't have to. Oh, hey guys, um, are you here to eat this elder dragon? I know you're scavengers, but... This is an elder dragon. Are you Nergigante? Alright, so we still have plenty of time to go find a monkey. So hopefully that'll be our very next quest. Would be nice. Nice work with Shatterhorn, Fiber. I asked analytics to look into it as soon as I got back. Okay. Seems like they're on the cusp of figuring out it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what do you know? Seems like they're calling for us, which means they just found out where that thing came from. Is it the Guiding Lands? I know you're dying to know more about this carrot, so you're coming along. Let's move. Okay. All right, Teach. We're all here. Tell us what you discovered about Shattered Horn. I do like how this is a monster that's actually been named. With pleasure. First... We examined its mane to determine what it fed on and when. You, you can do that? Then we analyzed soil samples taken from its hooves and were able to deduce its place of origin. Our conclusion is that it came from the Guiding Lands. As I thought. What? How did it get from there to here? Uh, by being a magic pony. It's a good swimmer. <laughs> it is an elder dragon. 
traveling great distances is not out of the realm of possibilities. Yeah, maybe it ran along the water. Though, I mean, in Freedom Unite, they specifically told us that Kieran was classified as an elder dragon simply because it didn't fit in any of the other categories. Uh, setting that aside, the question of why this Kieran has lost its horn has a much more startling answer. Was it broken off by a monkey that was trying to eat it? The damage to its horn wasn't born from a small wound that eventually caused it to splinter. No, no. It was broken in a split second, twisted to an unusual angle by some incredible force. Like the force of a monkey's hand? In other words, something snapped the Kirin's horn. Admiral. We know that when incredibly strong monsters invade other habitats, their presence forces weaker species to flee. And the influx of fleeing monsters into a new locale has a drastic effect on the ecosystem. Do you think this might be one of those cases? Probably. Hmm. It's possible. Could have been on the run from something. Fled the guiding lands and made its way to the Horfrost Reach. There's only one thing left to ask then. What could drive something as powerful as a Kirin out of its natural habitat? A Rajang? Well, guess we're gonna have to look for ourselves. Boss man, you cool with us heading out? <laughs> you asking me for permission? As if you'd listen anyway. Just promise me you won't get in over your head. And if you get into trouble, leave it to the fit. Ah, don't worry. All right. Time to rock. Set up the quest and get ready to go. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll get everything prepared. I'll head out first and scout. Don't keep me waiting. Oh boy, we get to fight a monkey. So, if it's anything like past Monster Hunter games, he will have a high-grade roar, so we'll just use this set. There's my skills. There you go. Hmm. Okay. Time for a Rajong. Also, I believe this is supposed to add a volcanic region to the Guiding Lands, so that'll be interesting. And then we'll get our items, because it is not an Elder Dragon. This is a uh, long preparing. There we go. Probably because there's a cutscene in the quest and they had to load that up. Hey, look. Kieran Fur. Is there something behind here? <clears throat> well, now, the heck's going on? Hmm. Oh, hi. That's a big boy. Uh oh. Oh good, he didn't get crushed. Big boy. That's what I said. Hey, there are Kieran tracks here. What was that roar? 
probably some sort of monkey. Oh, right here? Where, where's here? Ah, this way. Ooh. I like question mark footprints. Even if they're old ones. So we gotta go practically down into the veil, huh? Need more question mark tracks. Hey, there's a new path opened up. We actually got to see this in one of the pre-release trailers. So. Is it on guard because of us? So they were working on this cutscene before the game launched. Okay, it's cool that we get to see this. What's happening? Oh, that's a stabbing or not. wants that horn and snap he only wants the horn that's a heck of a zap shot it hey you okay kid also hit a detour along the way but it looks like I made it just in time that Rajon was enraged clearly <laughs> never imagined we come face to face with that big ape his fur was golden do I have to knock it over by flinching its legs There's a Joe on this map. Whoa, he is quick. Uh, 
Okay, so we don't... We don't latch onto his face, we latch onto his arms. Good to know. I forgot to change my cap back. Okay, do we have anything else around here? Yeah. Alright, let's get you into a wall, buddy. And let's try and work this tail. Doesn't look like I can zero sum on the tail. I'm not really surprised. But hey, it's good to know. Ouch. He is a speedy boy, though. Ow. And he's a punchy boy. I want this. Oh, that was a quick sleep. Like, really quick. Bizarrely quick. Um, dang, not ready yet. Okay. Well, let's wake him up. There we go. Not the worst wake up we could have managed. Whoa there. Okay, so we can ride him on his butt or on his shoulders. If we got him to bonk his butt on the wall, would it do damage to his tail? Feels kind of bad that we zero summon arm instead of a face. Still breaks horns though. Apparently, breaking a horn knocks him down. That's useful. Oh yeah, I should tail raider signal. Once I'm done being tremored. Okay, cattle put that down. I'll put this down. Oh, we got a palico. Oh, way to jump right in it, buddy. Ouch. Whoa there. Visually, that move does look real nice. Ah. Okay, so he's in rampage mode now. They said in the uh, dev diary before this came out, like earlier today, that he breaks shock traps when he's in rampage mode, so uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and not use a shock trap. Seems like a plan, right? So the tail and the back legs get wounded together. Does that mean... Oh. Wait, hitting the tail knocks it out of rampage mode? Whoa, that's a new move. But hitting the tail is supposed to knock him out of rage. Also... Uh, no, he's still in rampage mode. Those arms are glowy as heck. Okay, so that was him being knocked out of rampage mode. Okay. Also, hey, Beast Tears. I guess he is the first fanged beast we've got in World. And now uh, we'll keep our torch pots. We almost have full tracking on this guy. And now we... Uh, nope, we still don't. I was going to say now we do, but now we do. All right, so let's get this wounded up. Oh, yeah. Stay in that sleepy boy. Or don't. Ooh, the palico that we brought in also has a sleep weapon. 
so we might get a second sleep. All right, let's wound up this. Are we just not allowed to? Are we not allowed to wound you? Uh, yeah, scatter nuts and flash pods. Those are things that I have. Ooh. Wow. 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 That's a fun turf war. Um, I want the sparklies. Okay, I guess Paratoad works too. Hey, he can be paralyzed by a full Paratoad. I'm betting he has a turf war with Joseph. So I guess we're just not allowed to wound his face unless he was in a drooly flinch. Don't. Oh, he, he missed. Good job, monkey. Ow. Okay, what if I do some of this action and then some of this action? That's what I thought. Yes, lizards, crowd around so that I can get more pops from my amp sword. Mad monkey. I kind of miss him sounding like he used to. Yeah, can't just clutch onto him like that. Oh, and he just grabs you too. You can't get out of that. That is very punishing. Shame I don't have scatter nuts or anything. Ow. Okay, so you just get punched straight in the junk if you clutch onto him at the wrong times. That's uh, it's good to know. Whoa there, buddy. Where's Joseph? I want him to show up. I have high-grade plugs. That's a damage roar? Whoa there. Well, at least he doesn't grab you off his butt but apparently he can still do a jumpy, punchy thing. Okay, so he doesn't just pick up the entire floor and throw it at you. He just upturns the floor. Ow! Okay, Joe is... Actually, only like one area away. I think we can get there with the monkey in tow. Especially if we make use of these wedge beetles for slightly faster movement. Hey, Joseph. We've got a friend for you to meet. Hey, buddy. Where's... There he is. Turf War! Yeah! Uh, view mode. Okay, so Joe grabs the monkey, swings him around. Oh, punched. That was uh, surprisingly similar to the Turf War with Nerd, but hey, it's a Turf War. Apparently the monkey still wants a piece of that, Joe. Oh, got the wound on. Okay, so do we straight up have to hit his tail until Rampage Mode ends, or will it eventually end on its own? Well, there it goes. 
Ooh, and he's not a mad boy. And he's tired, so... Yeah, okay, so if he's tired, we can just wound. Oh, but it wounds the arm, not the horn. I mean, that makes sense, considering the arm is what we're clutched onto, but... It'd be helpful if we could wound the horn. I'm just gonna go for the tail. Looks like we might have just gotten our first pod drop out of him. Yeah. Ooh, thorns. That wasn't the face. Okay, it's not a damage roar, it's just a push. Which makes no sense considering... Like, unless it's wind? Okay, we got the tail break. But it didn't knock him out of rage. So he, well, actually, maybe it did. Looks like, he, well, he's not in rage right now. And he entered rage pretty recently. So these pierce pods are not from him. And there goes the other horn, or not? Oh, they added arm brakes. Good to know. And that looks like a second set of thorns for us. And with him limping away, we might be able to catch up and clutch on and wound the other arm. I can't see him grabbing us off while he's limping. Yeah, he's too busy limping. Back to the volcano we go. Definitely gonna have to explore this volcano at some point. Oh, I guess that's where he sleeps, right up there. still exists. Gotta see if I can't get another ride, because that's probably our best bet for breaking the remaining horn. I do like that they added arm brakes. I'm always a fan when they add brakes to monsters. Oh. That's the other horn. So which arm did we break already? I think looks like it was the right arm. Yeah, so left arm is the one that's wounded, and it's the one that's got to break. Also, ow! Should use these thorn pods, see if we can get a KO. So stop its rampage mode faster means that it can stop on its own. I'm sorry, are thorns just not allowed to hit his face, or do his arms just always get in the way? Looks like if they're on his arms, the little stun burst still gets his face. Hi, Barnos. So, with that arm all pumped up like it is, I don't know that we'll be able to really... Why am I even... Oh, because I've only got a shock trap and he's in rampage mode, so I can't capture him. You know what? Let's just leave. Whoa there. Yeah, let's leave, get a pit trap, then come back and capture him. Oh, yeah. We're, we're still in combat. Please drop combat. 
please. Drop combat, like all the way, so I can get out of here. Please? Do I need to go one more area away? There, how about now? Still in combat? And I was kind of hoping there would be another base camp. Okay, there we go. But I guess we don't need another base camp because you jump from here down to there and then it's right there. So let's get a pit trap. Oh, but he's got to be enraged in order to pit trap him. Well, we can... Or no, we can't clutch onto... Well, yeah, we, we can clutch onto his face and slap him repeatedly. The slaps seem to work. It's just the, the attacks to soften him up that have troubles. Also, the flies always lead you wrong when the correct response is to go down this hole because they never lead you down the hole. All right, so is he going to be a sleepy boy or a wakey boy? A wakey boy. Ooh, but he's not in rampage mode, so we can just drop this shock trap right here. And then take him on home. Broke one of his arms and both horns and the tail, so... So yeah, we did decently here. Took a monkey home. Wonder if we're gonna get more fanged beasts. So we got actual Rajang parts. One star. Well, he's the only monster I don't have full research on, so... Won't be too hard to finish out all my research again. Then what do you want? Uh-huh. Ah. Okay. I already did. It worked. Do be careful. Well, thanks for the information I already knew. Other than the whole clutch claw not designed to clutch onto something that small thing. Thanks. And dang, a Rajah. Even elder dragons steer clear of that beast. Anyway, now we know we got Rajah running loose in the guiding lands. Uh huh. Hope you're ready to get down to business because it's monster hunting time. Yay! Felt kind of weird fighting that Rajah, though. It's spiky golden hair and buff arms. Like looking into a mirror. Like going up against my evil twin. <laughs> okay, similar sentiment. But we showed it who the bigger baboon was. Am I right? <laughs> oh, wait, uh, that kind of came out wrong. All right. And the guiding lands now have a volcanic biome as well. Neato. So let's just take a quick look over here. Okay, that's not helping. But yeah, oh, and it's already level two, dang. Well, I know what I'm gonna have to do, but I don't have to do it on camera. So that's it for this episode. Join us next time 
when we're gonna return to the regular time stream and go back to what I was doing after the last episode. See you then, friends.